Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic in the Town. Now hopefully you enjoyed that intro there, I am extremely, extremely excited about today. Uh, this was a huge build, and I think you guys are really going to like it. Now we are on the other side of town right now, we are in front of the bank, and obviously we have a new sign behind me here. Now in Sunday's town episode, which was the uh, residential district episode, I asked you guys to name the bank. And by a landslide, it was Komodo Cash that won. I was a little surprised about that because there were some really good names in there. Not saying Komodo Cash isn't a good name, but still a little surprised about that. So there's the sign. I don't know if that's going to be the permanent sign or if we're going to elevate it, maybe stick it on the building. Not 100% sure, but we did make the sign. And I did want to show you guys that Komodo Cash won the vote. Now today, we're going to travel over to the other side of town and go check out the epic new theater. But remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel a whole lot, and let's jump right into this. All right, we are ready to jump over to the theater. Now we are in our little red turd. Uh, this was the car from the My Summer Car episode from probably a couple weeks ago. And now there is gonna be a part two to that episode. I do wanna build the pub and the gas station, and that might actually be in the town. And oh, we've got a green light here. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, and by the way, there is the GameStop and AT&T store from, oh, it's been probably about three or four months ago. I don't know if that's going into the town. I'm kind of testing it out right now and putting in new windows. So that might be a new town item. Now, let's go ahead and take a left. Oh, look, I'm obeying the traffic laws here. Oh, and I just crashed into my curve. I was so proud. I was like, all right, we just went through the green light. We're doing it right. And I hit curves. So uh, let's see. Let's take a right right here. Now look at this thing. This is a huge building and I'm probably going to exit right here. Let's just drop it off in the middle of the road. Actually, we might need to hit the roof hatch. Got to remember how to work this vehicle. There we go. All right, now take a look at this. Uh, there's the Starbucks to the left and you just see this big towering movie theater behind it. And this thing, it took a while, but this is probably one of my favorite buildings now because of the design and just the way we did this whole building from the inside to the outside. Very, very proud of this one. Now this is a bit of a retro theater. I am going to add more parking because obviously four spots is not going to cut it. So I think to the right we're going to have a big parking lot. I do want to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for jumping in. Uh, we designed this thing. Uh, this took a while to do. And I want to go ahead and inform you guys, this is a one screen theater and the one screen seats, I think it's 128 people. It is absolutely massive. I debated on if we wanted to do like smaller screens and do maybe two, but since you're only, I'm only going to show it like once, I'm only going to go inside one of the movie theaters. So I figured let's go ahead and just do one and it's just been made really huge and epic. Now, as far as the outside, I think it looks great. This is probably, like I said, one of my favorite buildings. Just from the brickwork to the, and I don't know what that's called, and I'm pretty sure that has an official name, the little pillar that comes off of these. Now, you don't typically see that in a lot of theaters today, a lot of the modern ones. This is more really like a classic theater. So you've got that. You've got the awning up here. Uh, there's some woodwork up on it, and let's see over here. Uh, we've got all sorts of movie posters on the outside. Now, don't ask me what these films may or may not be because it's Scrap Mechanic. Actually, you know what, guys? Comment below with Scrap Mechanic titled films because I would be really curious as to what you guys actually come up with because I I'm really pretty lost when it comes to that. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over here. Now, here's the ticket office. So you would walk up choose what movie you want to see and really you don't have much of an option because it's only one theater or one showing room uh so yeah we'll go ahead and buy movie tickets here and you can walk into the left and to the right 
Now, like I said, we're going to get a parking lot on this right side. Uh, the building itself, it just goes right down. There's nothing back there besides uh, we've got two emergency exits at the rear of the building. So let me go ahead and give you guys one more look at the front here. Like I said, super proud of it. I love the lights. Uh, I had to uh, eliminate a couple lights in the town because I don't, I'm kind of curious as to how close we're getting to that 256 light limit. I'm a little afraid that we're going to overdo it. But for the most part, there's not too many lights in here. So anyways, let's go ahead and walk in here and show you guys the lobby itself. Pop that open here and check this out. The color scheme, I was not really sure about. And I know somebody's going to comment and say, that looks like Retro Specs colors. And yes, it kind of does, doesn't it? Uh, his colors just worked really well in here. He's got the blue, orange, and white. Now, we did mix it up. We've got a brown ceiling in here, and we have a tan upper section. And something that you can't actually see from the front of the building, there's actually windows up above. That awning kind of blocks it. If I had an aerial shot at the beginning uh, that you probably could have actually seen that. But anyways, we're going to walk over here. You've got some movie posters. Now, I debated at first. I thought, all right, we're going to probably stick some arcade games in here because almost every movie theater's got some sort of arcade room or maybe just a couple games in the lobby. But since we have a dedicated arcade now, I figured, you know, let's not do that. Now, back here, this is just the way to get into the ticket office. So if you're role playing or something, you can have two people sitting back here getting some tickets ready for people. Uh, that's the uh, control panel for the doors. Now, funny enough, this building here actually does not have that many bearings. I do get a bit of lag in this building just because of how massive it is. But once you step off lot, it goes right back up to 120 frames. Uh, that's what I have my monitor set at. So it's refresh rate is going to be always at 120. And in here, I probably get about 100 frames. So it's not terrible. And like I said, the only bearings are here in the front and there's a couple in the back. So let's go ahead and close this. Give you guys one more little look of the lobby. Uh, the lobby's pretty much the same on each side, and then you go back into the hall here to get into the actual movie theater part, or the... I think they have an official name for that. I think we've been calling it, like, viewing room, but there's probably something actually official there. So back here, this is the snack bar counter where you can buy all of your overpriced goods here at the movie theater. Uh, popcorn and all that is extremely expensive. I, I understand that's where they make their money, because they don't make that much off the films. But dang, I don't like spending like $10 for popcorn. But I guess maybe we'll have better prices here in the Komodoville Theater. And by the way, that's not the official name. If you guys have any ideas for names, feel free to comment below. We'll probably do pretty much the same thing that we did last time. And we'll make some sort of poll for the name. Now over here to the left, here's the popcorn machine. So we can go in here, stick some of the uh, popcorn seeds in there. And pop some and yeah these things are actually really huge the last time I went to a theater it covered like half the back counter of course that was a really busy theater so I guess that would have been necessary you've got your little coffee slash hot cocoa machine here you've got your fountain drinks over here you've got some mugs some ducks all your snacks now below the counter uh, I didn't I was gonna put some doors down here and we're going to fill it up with candy. I debated on doing that if I wanted to or not. Because realistically I'm just going to stick a bunch of ducks under there. A lot of times they would have candy kind of lined up down here. Or any other little snacks that they can put under the counter. Now the counter itself actually came out really nice. You've got the glowing. Those are uh, logic gates just going making some sort of neat little pattern. It just adds a little bit of effect here on the inside. And gives it a pretty nice look so... Anyways, that's the counter. Let's go ahead and walk back here. Now, you did see the actual inside of the theater or, or the viewing room from the intro. But what we're going to do here, we're going to actually go upstairs first. Now, upstairs is where the magic happens. You get to go up in here. There's uh, staircases on each side of this hallway. And you see the do not enter. Of course, this is for employees only. So we'll walk up here real quick. And this is a pretty low ceiling in here, but realistically, it's one purpose is up the stairs here. And this is the room where they would stick the machines or stick the reels into the big projector. Now, this projector is kind of huge. Uh, here, let's go ahead. I'm going to switch it on real quick. Now, it's actually pulsing there and it's creating a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can actually catch it. We'll probably have to go down in the theater. There's a light beaming. 
And that light's actually hitting the screen and creating that little effect, say if the movie's not going on right now and you just got that little thing running over or the reels running over and you just got that little flashing. It actually does it in the theater, which is really cool. Uh, over here, this is where they keep the movie reels. You got some storage back here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go out this side. Here's another little control. This is like the breaker room for the theater itself. So if they need to shut down power, they can do it from up here. Uh, let's go down here real quick. Uh, a little bit more storage, and this is just going to spit you back on the other side of the hall here. So we've got that. Uh, we do have bathrooms. You've got a boys and girls room here. We're just going to take a look into one of them real quick. Uh, pretty nice little setup here. Got three sinks. Got your little hand dryer here. Trash can. Uh, I think we actually hid the uh, some of the logic gates and controllers in that trash can. And, of course, you can open this up. Now, to save bearings, I'm going to go ahead and admit that this is like this. Uh, to save bearings in the building, only one of the stalls in each bathroom opens. The others are just strictly there for show. And that is just to try to prevent lag. So, let's go ahead and close that. But anyways, we are ready to go watch our movie here. Now, no telling what movie we're going to watch. Uh, you probably saw one of my older videos in the intro. But yeah, here is the actual theater itself. Now, there's something neat, and it's kind of hard to see. The way this thing's wired up. Uh, when you flick the switch to turn the projector, what you can see it flashing up there in the little window. And you can actually see it hitting the screen here. You can, uh, hopefully that shows up in the video. Let me try to get it at different angles. But when that projector's not on, it actually turns on the lights here in the room. Let me show you guys. It's all wired into the back there. So when the projector's not on, these house lights turn on and they beam upwards and a little bit downwards. And it kind of lights the room up. It's not perfect, but it looks really pretty cool. Now, like I said, just one screen here in this movie theater. But as you can see, it's pretty well, or pretty much a full-size one. I know there's bigger movie theaters than this, but I think this came out fantastic. It looks like everybody's ready to go check out and maybe get a movie here, catch a movie. You can go to the snacks. You've got all these little uh, pipe pieces up here. It looks like snacks from the snack bar and drinks. But yeah, you can go up to any of the rows here and say, I like to sit in the back and probably, I like to sit in the back and oddly enough at the aisle. I, it doesn't bother me if I'm like looking at the screen from this angle because I like to have quick access to the stairs. That way when everybody gets up when the movie's over, I can run down the stairs and get out of everybody's way. But anyways, that is the big screening room. I think this came out fantastic. Now, this does have two emergency exits here at the back. I don't have doors on these because of bearings. Uh, I might put some fake doors on them, but say if we need, need it to get out, maybe there's a fire, something's happening, we can always get out the back of the movie theater here. And here's the back of it. Now, what's going to be really cool, we're going to fill in this little gap here behind the Starbucks and the roads over here. Uh, this road's going to curve around and go behind the theater. And I'll try to fill out this area a whole lot more. I think it looks pretty good right now. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys one more view here. And yeah, this is by the Starbucks, by the Visitor Center. There's going to be something go going behind here, and I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be because this is an awkward area because it's got shops or it's got roads on each side. So a bit awkward, but I do like the position the movie theater's in. But remember, folks, uh, comment below, and if you want to name this movie theater, I'm looking for any sort of name that we can get. Now, from the Bank Town episode, one more thing I want to go ahead and go over. There was a lot of requests for a roundabout in the town. And what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and walk down uh, this street here. You know what? I could probably even name the streets. Uh, that might be a thing soon, too. But where I think we're going to put this roundabout. Now, since we've already got the... I would ideally like to put it in front of the city hall, but since we've already got that area filled out... Uh, it's probably going to go back here, and what I think, what I think I'm eventually going to do is add a highway back here, and we'll have some exits that go into a roundabout, because technically we're going to need to get to the other districts, that including the truck stop world and the residential area. So, it's probably going to go back here, I'll probably get a big circle, like one of those pixel circle generators, and that I'll create the road around that, and we'll have the uh, little exits on the roundabout head off into these main streets. So you would probably enter in from this side, or we might do it on the complete opposite side. I'm not 100% sure. 
But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic in the Town, and hopefully you enjoyed this epic theater. Like I said, I want to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for uh, sitting down with me and hammering this thing out. Uh, that was really awesome. So, yeah, if you want to download this map, the download link will be in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel. I'll have some more town episodes coming out this week. It's probably going to be just a viewer creation episode and another build. And what we're going to do this week, uh, while I'm on the topic, uh, we're going to probably play some different games during the week. Uh, I don't want to overdo it on Scrap Mechanic this week because I've got quite a bit planned for the weekend on Scrap Mechanic. So this week we'll probably play some... City Skylines, Brick Rigs, I've got another game we're probably going to look at, and I might try to squeeze in some more My Summer Car. But anyways, folks, hopefully you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you!